Let me give an overview of asset allocation and the approach that we take in this learning module. There are five levels of asset allocation. The first level, the most basic level, is to index your portfolio to some particular benchmark. For example, the S&P 500. That would involve buying the stocks within the S&P 500 or a subset of those stocks that highly track the S&P 500. It's a very mechanical way and to manage assets and what you're trying to do is to exactly match the benchmark. The second level of asset allocation I refer to as strategic asset allocation. So in this case we might have multiple asset classes. So uh, for example we might have um, the S&P 500, an index of bonds, and perhaps uh, international investments also. And what we would like to do here is to strategically take a bet on a particular asset class and a bet against another asset class in the hope that over the longer term, and by longer term I mean five to ten year horizon, that the asset that we overweight will outperform um, what is expected. So strategic asset allocation is a longer term perspective. Um, you basically take longer term strategic bets that one per particular asset class will outperform another. The third level of asset allocation I, I refer to as uh, tactical asset allocation. This is a shorter term rebalancing. You take shorter term, maybe one month, one quarter, maybe one year, overweighting or underweighting certain asset classes because you think that the performance in the short term is going to be different than the strategic assumptions. Okay, if that's true, if you do outperform, then you're going to make more in terms of portfolio return than you would by just holding the strategic weights. So think of it as there's an overall set of weights that are determined by your overall strategy, the strategic asset allocation. And then you will deviate from those weights depending upon the information that arrives and make certain tactical bets. The fourth level of asset allocation has to do with investing within the asset class. So within the asset class there might be various sectors. And sometimes this is referred to as sector rotation. So for example, in U.S. corporate bonds, there might be four different sectors. In mortgages, there's multiple sectors that you could look at. So the sector rotation model takes shorter term bets on particular sectors within the asset class. So the overall um, weight that you would uh, look at as a benchmark would be the weight um, that the sectors actually have in terms of market capitalization with respect um, to the asset class. And then you would take overweighting and underweighting depending upon your forecast of how that sector is going to do. The fifth element in terms of asset management has to do with the actual asset selection. So given that you've established a strategic asset allocation you have over underweighted based upon a tactical asset allocation, you have a sector rotation model in place, then the real question is which assets do I actually buy? Which securities, which stocks, which bonds, which mortgages do I actually purchase? And here is uh, the subject of uh, much more detail uh, later on in the course where we actually analyze methodologies to pick the stocks or the bonds that have the highest likelihood of outperforming. And that's the last um, part of the asset allocation uh, program.